Hi, happy Wednesday. It's Javi Rappaport here and Torah Today, so relevant, applicable to every one of us today, just as it was then. Hope you're enjoying an incredible holiday season. Truth at all costs, at the top, or kindness sometimes could, should bend the truth. Let's take a look at Moshe and Aaron. Firstly, this week's Torah portion discusses the end of the at the end of the parsha Moshe's passing. Vayifku b'nei Yisrael et Moshe. The Jewish people mourned Moshe's passing, and Rashi talks about very very unusual. It, at a time when a person's passing, you're going to laud their qualities, what they shone in. Here we're talking about Moshe the leader, the greatest leader of all time. And yet, it mentions that the Jewish people mourn Moshe's passing, but with Aaron's passing, they mourned for an entire month, and all of the Jewish people, men, women, and children, because Aaron, in his ultra-kindness, sought to bring peace between man and wife, and in general, to calm disputes and therefore the Jewish people all mourned his loss for so much longer. Moshe? Moshe is the man of truth. Moshe Emes. But think about it. He was the shepherd of the Jewish people. Of course he was there to bring peace when there was a dispute. Of course the shepherd with the heart that he had, running after the lone sheep? So what does it mean to laud Aaron for his kindness? Well, yes, Moshe was the one who even taught the halacha when we should, you know, bend the truth for kindness. But this was not his path. Moshe emet betorato emet. Moshe and his Torah, he stood for, he embodied the ultimate truth. And so as a path of life, he embodied truth. Not like Aaron, who would bend the truth over and over again just for the sake of peace. And interestingly, interestingly, does said, Chesed ve'emet nifgashu, kindness, alluding to Aaron, the Emet, alluding to Moshe, met, converged, their ideologies met. Towards the end of Moshe's life, he gave credit or acquiesced to the fact that yes, there definitely is so much merit to peace and to using kindness to maintain peace at all costs, even at the expense of truth. And peace, something we all long for. Firstly, it starts within ourselves. Really, the only way that the world can come to a state of peace is if we first come to a state of peace within ourselves. The opposing thoughts, feelings, bring it all together, making sure we are one unit, one direction. And when we find peace within ourselves, we'll be able to extrapolate that and send that peace outwards. 